What's going on guys? It's Inferno and man, do we have a big review today. I've been dying to get a review out for this thing ever since I got it and today we're finally able to get it all put together. One thing that often gets overlooked when putting together a nice gaming or streaming setup is the chair. A lot of people are just focused on getting the latest and greatest PC components, the best monitors, the best peripherals, and of course, all the RGB. But a huge component that comes into play during those long gaming, streaming, editing hours is the time spent in that chair. After getting into streaming and content creation a little over a year ago, I came to realize just how important having a good chair can be. Now, when I started putting together my setup, I wanted the typical cool looking racing style chair that everybody thinks of. But I'll tell you guys right now, these type of chairs are not it. Now, if you're the type to only sit in this type of chair for only an hour or two tops or you're younger, you probably won't have much trouble with these types of chairs. But if you're going to be putting in a lot of time sitting in that chair, you need something that has real comfort, real quality and real support. And that's where Mavix comes in. When I was looking into getting a new chair for my setup, I had a few options in mind. First, we had the Secret Lab Titan. I'm a big boy. I was looking into the Respawn Spectre and even a Herman Miller. And those things are expensive. And then I came across Mavix. Mavix is a newer company that I believe launched in November of 2020. And yet they're already working with big streamers like Valkyrie, Skump, and many others. I also know a couple of buddies that picked up the M7 and the M9 and they had nothing but good things to say. Now, I've never spent this much money on a chair before, so I went with the cheaper option, the M5, just to get my feet wet. Now, I've had this chair for a little over a month and boy, do I have some things to say. Now, before we get into a full disclosure, I'm not getting paid to do this. I'm not getting paid to do this review or say anything in this. This is 100% my honest review of the M5. When I got this bad boy, I decided to do an unboxing stream for my community to give a live real time experience of what it's like putting this thing together and man, it was so easy. I'll run you guys through the VOD real quick to show you the contents of this thing, including how everything went together. First up, got to cut open the box. This thing was surprisingly heavy for its size, so it was a lot of fun getting through the front door. First out of the box, we had the base, then the gas lift cylinder to raise and lower the chair. One of my favorite parts of the chair, the headrest, the back support. Then we had a box inside of a box situation, which included the tool and screw kit, the armrests, and the M5 comes with the standard wheels. And then finally the seat. Now, as far as building this thing, I'm just going to fast forward a bit through it because it was super simple. If you put together a chair like this recently, you know just how straightforward it is. Now, Mavix does have a short three minute assembly video in case you need to double check a step, which I found useful a couple times. But overall, it's just amazing how something of such quality was so easy to put together. Although, if your office is a major sweat box like mine is, you will break a sweat putting this thing together. I know this isn't the best view of the assembly, but considering I didn't want to take this thing apart just to build it again for this video, this is the best I could do. Another awesome thing that I didn't show that was included with the little toolkit was little foam stickers to cover up the screws and such so that the material all blends together nicely. So I thought that was a nice touch. After it was finally all put together, time for the first sitting. Look at the smile on that face. Now I'm sure you can find a lot of chairs that look just like this and say that they offer all the same things. But the overall build quality determines how long it will last and if it will offer long term support or if it will just start falling apart after a year or less of use. The 12 year warranty that Mavix offers on these things just goes to show how confident they are and how long these things should last and offer continued support and comfort. In my experience with the unboxing and sitting in this thing for about a month, I can say this thing is sturdy. One thing I was a little worried about was the dynamic lumbar support losing its sturdiness after a little while, but it's just as supportive and responsive as the first time I sat in it. Other than that, the armrests are super sturdy, the seat has not caved in at all, and I have not had to tighten a screw one single time. When comparing to my old chair, the lumbar support pillow lost any of its cushion after about a month, the chair seemed to lower on its own during streams, and I had to tighten the screws on the armrest constantly. Even though it's only been a month, I can tell that this thing is gonna hold up for a long time. Onto the most important thing you should be worried about when looking into buying a new chair, support. Now, to give you an idea, I'm 6'2 and 220 pounds. 
I'm a big boy. I needed something that not only offered great support, but support that could withstand a lot of weight. And so far, this thing checks out. As I mentioned before, this thing has what's called as dynamic lumbar support. What it does is that it adjusts to how you are sitting in the chair and how much weight or force you are putting on it, all while keeping that lower back supported and comfortable. Now this was a big selling point for me because I've been dealing with lower back pain in my old chair and it only been getting worse. With this lower lumbar support, my lower back pain has gotten significantly better with some stretching and exercising of course, and I couldn't be happier. This thing also allows you to adjust the seat depth, so how far forward or far back you want to sit in the seat relative to the back support, which is huge depending on how tall you are. The armrests are another huge feature that I like because they are fully adjustable, allowing you to adjust height and even angle. The headrest is also adjustable, allowing different levels of support depending on how you are sitting in the chair. And of course, height adjustments of the seat and backrest and reclining. Overall, the support on this thing has relieved the pains that I had in my previous chair tenfold in just the short month that I've had it. And finally, comfort. As mentioned before, as a streamer and content creator, I spend several hours a day sitting in this chair gaming, editing, and just daily internet surfing. On most days, I'm sitting in this thing for 68 hours a day. Now what I'm about to say is no BS. No one's holding me hostage to say this. I'm not getting paid to say this or do this review. I'm telling you guys, I have never sat in a more comfortable chair. After a long stream, my body doesn't ache, my back doesn't hurt, and I'm still full of energy no matter how much time I spend in this chair. For being a bigger guy, finding a chair that has sustainable comfort is a complete game changer. The lumbar support is this comfy, flexible leather, and the back and seat are made out of this breathable mesh material that keeps you cool during those long gaming hours. So not only is it comfortable, but it does a good job of keeping you from overheating as well. Absolutely no complaints in the comfort department for this chair. To wrap up, I hope I did a good job of reviewing this chair for you guys and giving you an idea if this is the right chair for you. As far as pricing goes, the M5 comes in at $555.55, while the M7 and M9 come in at $777, $77, and $999.99 respectively. I just realized that's how they came up with the names. The M5 is $555.55, the M9 is $999. Hmm. Now, these things aren't cheap, but I believe you get what you pay for. Just like I tell people with buying a nice mattress, a pillow, or even a car, we spend a lot of time in these things, so you shouldn't be afraid to invest, especially when it comes to your health. And that's all I have for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you thought it was a helpful review, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me. And if you want to see content from me in the future, please consider subscribing. It would mean a lot to me. Much love, guys. Peace. If you guys want to catch me live on Twitch, I stream every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. I play a wide variety of games heavily focused on story-driven single-player games, but we have been known to mix it up with Super Smash Bros, Call of Duty, Valheim, things like that. We are heavily focused on the community and just making everybody feel welcome and vibing out. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, please stop by at twitch.tv slash inferno underscore games TV, and that link will also be provided in the description down below. Let's get it.